Hi, I'm Deborah Savager with Legal Office Guru, and uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about styles and why they're the most important feature that you need to learn in Word. Uh, if we've not met, uh, I teach lawyers and other legal professionals how to use Microsoft Word uh, better in their particular law practice. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to apologize in advance about my voice. Uh, I'm recovering from the flu right now. So a uh, little pre-Christmas flu. Thank you, CDC, for that flu shot. that didn't really work too well. Uh, but uh, my voice is going to deteriorate, unfortunately, as, as we go on here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. And while I'm doing that, uh, let me know in the comments below where you're watching from uh, and particularly uh, how cold it is where you are, because right now here on the Gulf Coast, it's pretty unseasonably cold. I know a lot of you in the upper Midwest may um, uh, may um, be laughing at me right now, but it's in like the 20s. Uh, I'm not used to this, but uh, do let me know where you're where you're watching this from, whether you're watching this live or whether you're watching this in a replay. And I'm going to switch to my screen right now. Okay, let me get this started here. And first of all, welcome to the inaugural edition of, of 13 Minute Thursdays. Some people have asked why 13 minutes and why so early. Uh, well, this is the last time in the morning that I'll have a wired internet connection before I have to do my morning commute to my job at a law office. I know this is really early for some of you in all your time zones. I'm guessing you'll catch this in a replay, but whether you're here live or viewing the replay, I'm going to do my best to give you a quick and easy training session with insights and tricks you can use at work starting today. I've surveyed my readers periodically and hands down the biggest source of consternation is styles and formatting. So I thought styles would be a good subject for which to start 13 Minute Thursdays. A lot of people tell me they don't use styles and in one sense they're right. They don't consciously apply and manipulate styles in their documents. They choose instead to do a lot of what's called direct formatting, like selecting text or applying italic or bold or adjusting the indentation or the line spacing. But in, in another sense, they're wrong. Every single piece of text in a Microsoft Word document has a style attached to it. You literally can't get away from styles. It's how Microsoft organizes the structure and formatting of a Word document. So if you understand more about how Word is already using styles and you learn how to manipulate those styles and create new ones for your needs, you can make global changes to your documents and eliminate a lot of the formatting frustration you're probably experiencing. Here's one of my favorite examples, footnotes. Yes, footnotes have their own styles, one for the number and one for the footnote text. And if you've ever had to adjust something about a footnote text, say, for example, your court requires the footnotes to be the same size as the body text for a brief, or maybe you want a little more space between the footnotes, you've probably done what a lot of people I've seen do. Double click into each footnote, select the text, resize it, and rinse and repeat for every single footnote in the document. And if you later have to add another footnote, you have to go through that exercise all over again. Contrast that with what's being demonstrated in this video that's embedded in this slide. This is a side-by-side -side comparison showing how long it took me to do what I just described, the direct formatting method on the right, versus simply adjusting the underlying style for the footnote text. Now, this document had three footnotes, so it took me about 34 seconds to adjust all three of them, versus 14 seconds to edit the footnote text style. But editing that one style means that every footnote, current or future, will now conform to the new settings. It's a global change. Now, footnote text is not a style you'll run across very often. A much more common one you'll see in 99.99% .99 of the documents you edit is the normal style. It's just like it sounds. 
This is what controls the default font, spacing, etc., of normal text. By the way, this area on the ribbon is the quick style section of the home tab, which I've expanded by clicking the downward facing area on the far right end. The quick styles area is the subset of the available styles that are put here for easy access. And yes, you can control what styles are listed here. You see, for example, 21 styles listed here, but actually there are a lot more styles available. In fact, there are over 200 styles already built into Word. So if there's a particular type of text you want to control the formatting of, chances are there's already a style assigned to it. And if you don't like the formatting of that style, you're free to modify it to suit your needs. Styles don't just control formatting. If you've ever used or even noticed the heading styles in your documents, heading one, heading two, etc., you may not have realized that not only are the styles controlling the formatting of your headings, they're also embedding a multi-level outline structure into your document. That structure is visible within the navigation pane. That's something you can pop up onto the left-hand side of your document by going to the View tab and checking the navigation pane I've circled in red in the ribbon in this illustration. Those headings are clickable, so you can literally navigate around the document using the navigation pane. That navigation pane will not only show you the outline structure of your document using the heading styles, it'll also let you move sections around your document by just dragging the titles around the navigation pane. For instance, if you want the save time section above keeping your document coordinated, you don't have to scroll down to that section of the document. Just click and drag save time where you want it and all of that text under that heading is moved along with the heading itself. All of this may prompt the question, how do I know what style is applied to my text? The easiest way I know of is to use the reveal formatting pane. Just click your cursor into whatever text you're curious about, press shift F1 to bring up the reveal formatting pane on the right, and be sure to check the box next to distinguish style source to ensure you can see what formatting comes from the name style. <clears throat> Those headings in blue underline, the font, paragraph style, etc., are all hyperlinks. So if you click on the paragraph style one, it'll take you into the style dialog box. Once you're in the style dialog box, that style will be the one highlighted. Beneath that, Word will show you the formatting details. If there's anything you want to adjust, just click the Modify button to go to the Modify Style dialog box, shown on the right here. You can make most changes within the dialog box itself. Bold, italic, underlining, font type, size and color, alignment. But for most choices, or for more choices rather, click the Format button in the lower left-hand corner to go to the other dialog boxes. And take a look at what I've highlighted in yellow. If you check that box, that will add style to the quick styles gallery you see on the home tab, so you can have easier access to it. I always recommend that you leave automatically update what I've got highlighted in blue unchecked, because what that does is take any direct formatting that you make to style text and make that change to the underlying style. That can really create some havoc in your document unless you're really OCD about how you use these styles. If a particular style is already listed in your quick styles area, you can get to that same modify style dialog box by right clicking on it and choosing modify from the pop-up menu. Okay, so that's the end of this little intro to styles class. My goal here was to explain why styles are so important and to give you at least one takeaway that you can use in your daily work. But I wanna hear from you. What questions do you have about styles? What sorts of problems are you running into? Are you at that, I don't even know what to ask stage? 
or have you been working with styles and having some problems? I encourage you to leave those questions and comments in the comments section below this video because I want this series to be driven by what you need, not by what I think you need. Anyway, it's just about time for me to dash off to work. I've really enjoyed being with you today and I hope you've gotten something useful from today's 13 Minute Thursday.